I'm Jared Haynes, and this is Rogue Outdoors. Today I'm talking to you about the phone cam system. I'm going to explain to you how it hooks onto your optics, uh, give you a little bit of video through the optic. Uh, this will go on binoculars, rifle scopes, spotting scopes, and I'm going to tell you why I believe it is the absolute best system for hooking a phone to your optic and getting video or just viewing through it. Alright, that's the guy I'm after. Let's start with the absolutely innovative part. So that's gonna be this adapter ring. So this is what mounts to all your different rear objectives on your binoculars, spotting scopes, that kind of stuff. This is a machined piece of aluminum. Uh, very, very well built, very good machining. Absolutely smooth um, when you're making adjustments on it. The threading on here is very precise. Um, it works on the ring in here seamlessly. Um, I'm very impressed with the build quality. Now, what this does is you have these two rings that you can twist independent of each other. This back ring, as you twist it around, will move these green teeth out or twist it this way in, as you can see, and that'll make this ring you know, get smaller or bigger to fit whatever that rear objective is. Now, set this aside. You've got three options for your phone case. So what you can do is you can either buy their generic phone case, um, which is gonna be a clear, you know, cheap plastic back, a little rubber side, and then their adapter ring right on here that obviously the phone cam will screw to. Um, you can buy an OtterBox for, you know, whatever model phone you have that has this already mounted to it or you can order just this piece and then put it on whatever case you have. And then they give you some sort of like a little stencil that goes in there so you can, you know, fit it right. Um, I was very impressed. So straight from them as it should be, this is perfectly dead on for the phone model that I gave them. This is an iPhone X um, or 10 and it worked absolutely perfect when I screwed these two on, put it on my spotting scope. I didn't have you know, any adjustments to make, which is good because this ring is not gonna be moving. They use a 3M tape, I would assume, back here, and there's a little bit of glue that they've daubed in there just to make it perfect, seamless um, fit. And then I've had this case on my phone for about a month now, and as you can see on the back of this, there's no scratches on it which is really cool. Um, you know, it's a phone case. It is meant to get scratched if it does, but because this sits off the back a little bit, when you put it down on the table, it keeps the back of this from getting all scratched up. And if you've got, you know, a really nice fancy phone, it's kind of cool to be able to see the actual coloring of the phone model that you bought um, and not have it all be scratched up. Now let's move into how to mount these two together. So you're gonna take the threading on here and just screw it into the threading there. Um, obviously make sure you don't cross thread it, but I have yet to have that issue. Um, it just, they, you know, the threading that they've done works great. You get on there, make sure it's up snug, and that's it. You just mounted, you know, you'd have your phone in here obviously. You just mounted the phone cam to the case and it's ready to go. Now you're just gonna size your ring to whatever size, you know, get it a little bit bigger than you need it and then tighten it down on that rear objective and then start filming straight through it. So let's go outside some film through the phone cam and I'll show you what it looks like. So I've just got these hooked on to a little bag. I forgot my mount to hook them to the tripod. But what you're looking at is you've got the phone and you can hopefully see that it's recording there looking up at this hillside. I can move it around and look over here at this other hillside. It's just hooked right on there. You can still use your focus wheel. There's plenty of room in there. There's plenty of room to get it in between the eye cups. It's a really nice setup. You go from about 100 yards to about 280 yards. As I've shown in the video, 
this is the best setup super easy um, when you have that front ring on there to just screw it quickly onto different varieties of rear objective lenses um, so that eyepiece you know varies drastically going from spotting scope to spotting scope binocular to binocular rifle scopes um, and this gives you the ability to go and put it on every single one of those uh, that saves you a lot of money uh, if you go with like phone scope the brand um, you're going to pay a lot of money having to get different ring sizes so where this one's buy once cry once if you want to call it that um, although it's not really that expensive depending on which way you go i mean you're looking about 120 130 dollars uh, maximum anyways so that's not that bad to have something that's going to last you forever um, i have now had this for about a year of heavy use and as my solid phone case and I have no issues. Um, this has stayed perfectly strong, never had it waver. Um, so this is just how I carry my phone all the time, which really allows me to um, not miss those opportunities when you wish that you would have had your um, phone cam with you. It's always with me. I just throw it on to whatever thing I'm trying to take the picture through and I'm good to go. Uh, it allows me to get more pictures, videos of animals, game, that kind of stuff. Uh, and it's a big asset. So I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel for more content coming soon. Thank you very much.